The Navy's newest hunter-killer submarine HMS Anson has completed what a submarine should do, submerge, for the first time. The fifth astute class boat 1.3 billion pounds of cutting-edge underwater naval power and technology, has successfully come through her first dive in the safety of a dock in Barrow. Citing from Royal Navy website, the trim dive, carried out over two days, allows architects, experts and engineers calculate the boat's precise weight, stability and center of gravity, all key factors in Anson's performance when she formally joins her four older sisters already in service with the Royal Navy's submarine flotilla. The dock at Bay Systems Barrow in Furnace Yard, where Anson has been built over the past 11 years, features a giant chasm or dive hole, long and wide enough to accommodate a Royal Navy nuclear submarine. Even at 25 meters, 82 feet, it's not quite deep enough to cover an A-class boat entirely, but it does leave only the conning tower and tailfin protruding from the cold waters of the Devonshire dock. The dive is a slow process as the 60 crew, engineers and shipwrights check for the hull's watertight integrity and move around trolleys collectively carrying 16 tons of lead weights so naval architects can confirm the stability of the 97-meter-long nuclear submarine at sea. The start of the trim and basin dive is a key step in the commissioning of HMS Anson, said the boat's first commanding officer, Commander David Bing Crosby. Initial feedback from the test dive is a resounding thumbs up, allowing the Bay Anson team to push ahead with the remainder of her testing and commissioning program, preparing the boat for her maiden voyage. That national endeavor continues, not just with completing Anson, but also the sixth and seventh boats in the astute class. HMS Agamemnon and Agincourt, and HMS Dreadnought, the first of the next-generation nuclear deterrent submarines, all under construction in the gigantic Devonshire dock hall which dominates the Barrow skyline.